Peter Black here, folks, and basically you can watch my what question mark video, which is basically just going to be that. It'll show you that Soho faction of that very bright, very large object because the sun, <coughs> the sun is hella bigger than tons of stuff. So there you go. You watch that. Pretty much just amounts to that. I flopped it on real fast before going to the store. But that's Soho Head Core 2. And basically we're going to look and show you some black and white. Uh, hit play again on this. You see that move real fast. Should move again real fast here. But we're going to show you how massively, and you should notice it even in that shot that I did. Look at how much the sun's flaring. Okay, and that's the color shot. And then th we have two shots tonight. And still it's pretty late or, or pretty early AM and but this is forty eight UT Zulu and it's like five or something over there now or something, but matter of fact, well that's not gonna show live, but I've got the smaller shot here. And it's just it's very large because here is the current sun so this just is basically around the earth where the sun's at and the constellations there really should not be anything really large the sun's pretty much right there just cresting going down over uh probably asia going back up towards europe in a little while uh So the idea that it really shouldn't be anything big and bright up by the sun when they took this shot at 54 UTC, okay? So this is the sun chart, and basically just like yesterday, the Mercury and Venus. Venus is the biggest, and uh, Jupiter is way away, so it's the biggest, but it's not going to be anywhere near this sun shot. And check out what we get for the sun shot, and because this uh, object is very much probably out towards the front and may very well be and we'll zoom into 400 per I mean past the 400 that we're at now and I'll give you this shot here to make you realize how much the sun's flaring you can see all the flares because those are all solar flares the sun is going crazy I had a one guy let me know he's like you need to look at the sun it's going crazy he basically said the F word. <laughs> it's F going crazy. So, and you can see it here as we're looking at it, it's like almost more than 300%. I mean, 360 to be total, but the idea that there's a little bit that's not flaring, but it's not much. You can th see the three little areas that aren't, aren't flaring. And otherwise, real big flares. And the close up shot is what blows up and makes it so the idea that, and I also blew this Osco 3 at 54, and you can see the live time up there has been 7 hours, but they still haven't gotten a new, even though if you end up with a time that shows a shot around 7 or earlier, right now, UTC, because I just did uh, those two smaller, this small shot, and this small shot, uh, basically, it was, and that's why the clock's running up there, okay, so this was still the, okay, and then let me go to this, and as you can see that object, and let's just zoom in on it, okay, you can pretty much tell we're still in the same shot, and we'll move up to the clock so you know that we are, okay, still the 48, and the other shot's going to be, uh, and you know, it's just the sun was hella flaring, probably is even right now, but check that object out, okay? So that may where may very well be our flopper that we are getting that's in front of Canteris B, Rigel Canteris B, which should be just right in front of the sun here. Now, Rigel Canteris B is 77%, so that's the idea that you're not going to see it because this shot is from behind the sun. Now, I will... Uh, you just need to take and you could probably get this shot then and take and zoom up even more of from what I got so uh, there it is and that pretty much 
would not be Venus and Mercury together uh, because the idea that it wouldn't even be that big, okay? Uh, Saturn wouldn't even be that big. I mean, there's the sun, folks, and if you know from the sizes and stuff, the idea that that is something way bigger. That's what I was mentioning, too, if you watched the last one I got from Nehemiah. I'm starting to realize the idea, okay, that's got to be in my new one from Hawaii also, one just before this film, uh, that the idea that the brown kachina has to be pretty darn close to at least almost half, two-thirds, and absolutely no smaller than a third of 77% of the sun because that's what Rigel Cantaris B is. Because that black object that we are seeing and that you will see the laser action on the Hawaii film. So watch the last one because you got to see that footage from Hawaii. And I'll try to collect some more from Hawaii tomorrow on the 15th or 16th or whenever I can get a chance again to give you another Hawaii. I hadn't, didn't look back for Hawaii for a long time. It's where we've seen the V action a long time ago. So that humongous of an object near the sun has got to to be what we have basically know to be whatever it is that's in front of the 77% object of Rigel Cantaris B. Either that or that is Rigel Cantaris B. And it's getting a lot closer to, and it shouldn't be that close to sun. As you can see, it's bright. Okay, It's not dull. So the idea that has there been a big gigantic chip blow off the sun from running into Rigel Cantaris B that is 77% of the size of the sun? Uh, and is it hurling towards, I mean, it, would, it shouldn't hit Earth, but the idea, is, is it going to end up coming down here to Earth? Or is this that 50 number that we've seen that the Vatican had paid and had a telescope up on the space shuttle years ago that we showed where the idea and this would be if you're looking at the sun this is going to be on the right hand side of the sun because this is from behind the sun okay this is lasco to behind okay so that is a very impressive object right there because that's the sun and there's a very impressive humongous object and Here's where I saw that. It's like the idea to zoom in on that because what is it? Because the idea that even Mercury and because see this is a close up shot. Okay, it's not a far away shot. That if I seen something that big, I would think that okay, it's got to be Mercury and, and uh, Venus. But no, because the idea that it's so close. You see, it's got to be probably and more than likely since this is six minutes apart, that is probably that right there that my pointer's at. I know there's a yellow icon, but the idea that that is probably the object because it was close to the sun, and you can see that dark vein there, and there would be some movement of that dark vein that's right there, but we'll switch over to it, that because it's going to be the same somewhat back shot. So see, it's close to a dark vein, and then I can unzoom since you've had a good look at it up close. I'll zoom out. Now I'll just go ahead and get to 400% real fast. There you go. And you can see that the arms on it, it's like four and then what in the middle, you know? Very interesting looking object, I mean, astounding. Okay, so that might be those tentacles of Baby Blue Kachina. And Rival Cantaris B is 5,000K, so... Who knows? Down there low, again looking at the deal, looking low to the sun, it would have to more than likely be, uh, that's the only thing else, the idea that maybe, 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 but I still don't even think that is far enough away, because if you figure and look at this, you wouldn't even think that that would be far enough away. So that's even a questionable object there also. Because the idea then it must be 
part of a triangulation of these because these are that's even this is hella big okay and that still should not be by looking at it should not be this should not be venus okay so do some research folks because the idea that there shouldn't be anything that's that big up there okay so we've got some interesting new bright objects from the supergiants main sequence and basically sometimes at these angles you can look at it, the idea that could that be in front of the sun no that really does not look to be in front of the sun so that really does look to be an awesome object of the supergiants main sequence low and back and quite possibly this also but it sure looks like it could be the right hand side of what we are seeing and the idea that this sure seems that it would be behind the sun also and that's the thing is, is on the next flick I'm gonna have to show people of how and you can also go to NASA's deal uh, that's almost like uh, Google Telescope and basically you can look at planets and all kinds of stuff and also look at where the satellites are at and yes folks uh, matter of fact I got a link hang on a second ie here's Earth there's the Sun there's Mercury there's Venus for right now that they say so a head should be there so the idea that Mercury is even should be hidden behind a head okay at the current time because this is when it goes there when it goes to this map it's basically where it's at where they're at now and B is behind so the idea that it could possibly be mercury but they're shooting from behind so the idea it's gonna show mercury to the right and Venus to the left so the idea that even though they're that far apart they're that close when you're looking from out so the idea they should be combined up on the behind shot so but they should be farther away from the Sun and I know that can't be it that just absolutely can't be it's too damn close so the idea and not even that damn big so if anything if they are combined and sandwiched on top of each other anything this would be our two brightest in the area and going to the bigger shot that the idea that that would more than likely be our Venus and our Mercury and not that and as we know is when we blow up and look at it too that is just humongous damn ass humongous and that ain't no damn satellite okay so very interesting very interesting shot because there you go go right, I'm gonna go to it real fast here man click on it and there you go so we know the separation there that more than likely that matches and that's a B behind A ahead and both of these shots are from behind right now so you'll have to try to see what you can see at something like 7 as you can see up there on the clock as when I go to this because the time the clock still when I went to it and right here at the end we got 13 minutes and I'll try to see if we got lucky that they've uploaded since then because this is old at 54 but it was unique to be able to see to match up because you can see the flares how much action there and you can see the flares how much action here it's the same shots because of the flares the flares match up okay that's exploding and the other shot is six minutes later and you can see the explosions that one's tailing out and that one had started there and it's tailing out here because it's the same behind shots so try to remember looking at something 740 on tomorrow's footage okay because UTC that's what time it is right now so I'll just hit refresh see if it gives us something new to look at oh wow check it out bam I get surprised all the time I just wing these videos together let's check that shot out okay now let's stop okay really quickly folks at 1442 UTC uh, okay yeah that's my mountain time so I'm sorry I apologize about that okay that's mountain time so always watch the end of the videos folks I blew this thing up to 200% check that shot out 
Is that wild or what? That's that object that we've been seeing for a long time. Over there goes Plugger.